Hi, this is Dr. Ogini. I just want to talk today about highly sensitive people. The reason why I want to share about this is because I'm also very highly sensitive person as well. And what I want to share here is I want I want you to be not I don't want you to feel victimized the point that you, you are highly sensitive, especially if you're watching this video, you must be highly sensitive. I want to share the fact that you can still, still live a life and if you're in addiction or you have a lot of um, um, issues with uh, managing your emotions, this is the perfect video for you. So. I'm just called to do this video right now, so I didn't prepare for this video. Whatever needs to be said will be said. Whoever is watching this, whoever needs to hear this message, will we'll hear this message so you can transform your life and allow your life to get to the next level, okay? Highly sensitivity is basically when you are deeply aware of emotions of the surrounding of people around you. And to the point you can feel very scattered, meaning that if this is you, because you are so aware of the surrounding, it's kind of like you have ADHD hyperactivity because your attention is going everywhere at the same time you're feeling emotions of everybody literally you're feeling of their personality their emotions at the moment and their stuff that they're dealing with they may not say it to you but you can feel what they're going through and how do you work with like that especially when you're in a crowd or when you're around people, for example, I'm a chiropractor, I'm a holistic chiropractor, and I work with a lot of people. I work in groups, I do workshops, I heal people, and there's ways of how I've learned over the years to not let that get to me. So one thing what highly sensitive people do in order to protect themselves from, um, from, from this heightened energy, they usually actually hide, right? What you do is you go and hide and, and try to avoid a lot of situations. Another thing can also happen with heightened, highly sensitive people, they create this wall around them, this protective wall, so they become a little resistant, a little like guarded, and they may look like they're emotionless because they're afraid to feel the emotion because they already felt enough and the last thing they're gonna they want to feel that and to be the thing is that half of the time when they feel these emotions they're not even aware they're confused they think these emotions is only theirs not realizing they're feeling other people's emotions aware as well so they're confused with themselves. So when they feel frustration or anger or um, any form of certain feelings in the body, they're not sure who's it, who it is and they have no clue. So they think it's theirs, right? And they're also confused because the emotions can go into roller coasters. They're not, you may look like you're manic depressive and then you get diagnosed medically, right? But once you're aware of what's happening inside of you, you can shift a lot of things. You will start feeling so much better. And through awareness and through meditation, you'll be able to purify your energy and you will become more of yourself. This is why it's important for highly sensitive people to do a lot of retreat exercises. So meaning that Yes, you need to isolate yourself from the crowd in order to find yourself again. But if you isolate yourself and you start drinking 
or you're going into any form of substance abuse, you cannot find yourself. So when you're by yourself, you may still experience these emotions that are still sticking onto you and you're still confused. So one way to start and heal yourself very fast is going into nature by yourself, not with a friend or family member, and really listen to, the, to nature, feel nature, look at nature, and allow yourself to get to the present. The minute you are in the presence, these emotions that are sticking around, they will start to disintegrate. However, because you have this huge antenna, your body is so used to picking up on these emotions, and then you go back into reality, you are going to feel these energies again. Okay? But if you have a natural way, so for example, I had because I had a really good upbringing, my childhood was very good, my parents were very supportive, I was always dancing, singing, hopping around, and that's how I always released all that. That helped me to get to the present moment because when I would be singing, I'll be right here. I'm not feeling anything else, right? Or I will be hopping around. I'll be um, doing some form of an activity that does a lot of movement and I will dance a lot. I will do free dance. Although I did a lot of classical Indian dance, but every time I danced with my own flow, like I just really followed the flow of my body, that's when I healed myself. Or I would go to temples and uh, or meditation retreats to help me release these stuff. And typically people who go to meditation uh, retreats, they're very like-minded people. So it's much easier for you to work on. But sometimes you gotta be on your own. And I have learned that over the years that I had to sometimes step away from people so I could just feel myself fully. And the more people I am around, the more time I need with myself, okay? Another thing you'll know if you're energetically sensitive, this is very important for you to know, that you will have a lot of dreams. A lot of dreams on, of other people's lives. And they're actually, the funny part is most of the dreams are really happening in their life, if you've confirmed it. So you may feel like you're kind of psychic, right? Um, because you're tapped into their energy field. Science is still, I think, still working on figuring out how all this connection is working together, but who, someone who has experienced this, they know exactly what I'm talking about. If you read the, uh, Yogananda's book, and I'm just going a little bit out of the topic here, but in his book, his guru is basically talking about the antenna, how we tune into different frequencies. So we are, as highly sensitive people, tuned into certain frequencies that we pick up very fast. So now the great part is, once you learn to clear your energy and set certain intentions, um, another thing is when you clear your energy, you have to make sure you set intention. You set a clear intention, what do you wanna do for the day or for the week, which kind of clears any clutter out of your field any clutter out of your field okay this way you are more clear if anything doesn't resonate with what you need you'll be like no this is not for me you're not going to be defensive but you're going to be more this is not for me but if you're not aware of these energies you're going to be more defensive you will be more reactive you might be more um, expressing your emotions without realizing what's happening with you Okay. Hopefully up to this, I'm making sense to you. Please leave any comments. As I said, I didn't plan for this video. Um, it just came up and I'm just talking as it comes because it's so important to be shared. And I feel like this message is going to help so many people who are out there and looking for answers and they don't know what to do with themselves. 
and also not to get addicted to the things that you're doing to suppress these feelings. If you also notice, I've talked about previous videos, if you follow my old videos, I talk about identifying with emotions. So if you know, these are just emotions that are just passing through you, okay? Or um, flowing through you, do not get identified to these emotions. The reason why you feel stuck and you feel like you're dying inside of you, you feel depressed and down because you get identified with that emotion and then you say, I'm depressed, I feel like I have no purpose, I feel like I don't know why I'm living. All these emotions are part of um, that a highly sensitive person can get attached to. And if you don't have the proper support or um, the team or therapist, you can easily get called and pulled into the depressed state. I'm not saying if you're on medication, I'm not saying get rid of those medications. Um, you have to consult to your doctor about that, but you could work on yourself right now. It's never too late. And you don't have to, just because I had a good upbringing, that was my journey. I needed that as a reference point to see because my life changed after I was 13. It became very uncomfortable, very uh, painful after I was 13. Okay, so I needed my childhood to be able to relate and heal myself because my childhood was so good. It was unconsciously good, right? Now I'm consciously I've shifted my life. So there's a two different things. So um, it's like, I'm trying to think of an example, but okay, let's leave that right now. So at this moment, what I'm trying to say here again is be aware of your emotions. Don't get identified to it. If you're feeling, just say at like this moment, I'm experiencing sadness. At this moment, I'm experiencing confusion. And as you're saying this, you can feel, because you're a feeler, you can feel within your body, the more clear your energy is, the more you can feel your body. As you're feeling, you can feel the energy moving through your body. And you feel grounded, protected, and guided. And this gets better and better and better. And you may have to change your diet as well. If you want to start, when I started, this was a long time ago, I had to eat organic diet. I had to, uh, I'm not saying I'm fully organic, but at the, in the beginning, I had to be very um, precise and eat clean diet. Um, I had to watch small habits that was holding me back. And these habits may arise again, that's okay, but just be aware of those habits. Because you're super, you're tuned in, turned on, and you're aware of those things, you can also shift your perception of feeling of higher vibrational energies. Because you're so used to only feeling the lower vibrational energies, you can also tune and turn on to the higher vibrational energies. And that takes time with meditation and practice. Meditation is not still sitting still only in your place, in, in your room, but it's also creating a flow inside of your body. So even if you go with your own body's flow, feel the body that's already meditation. It's a form of Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga was created for people to go inward. There's different forms of yogas. For me, Kriya Yoga really helped me because also maybe because I'm a chiropractor, so it helped me to bring awareness and go inward, right? Um, there's different practices. You have to find what resonates with you and work with the thing that works, or work with the, with the technique that works best for you. Just make sure you don't get attached to the technique. 
The technique is only a guidance to find your path. It's not what the ultimate thing is. That's why I don't like, sometimes if you notice some of my videos, I don't like to talk too much because at the end, definitions don't matter for human evolution definition doesn't matter definition is for more our logical our mind who wants to know everything our ego mind you want to call that right but at the end it matters how you're processing and how you're releasing how you're um, decongesting and deconditioning your body when you think too much you cannot go in so be aware of that. So when we talk about definitions, if you look from different books, each doctor or writer or author has used different terminologies. Imagine you start getting attached to these terminologies. You can't even go inside because now you're overly analyzing in your head and trying to understand and use your mind to get to the destination and that's not going to help you especially as a highly sensitive people this is for anyone actually but back to as a highly sensitive definition is not gonna it's good for a test it's good to explain to somebody but for your ascension process it's not going to serve you okay i'm just hoping this video really helped you and um please leave any comments. If you want to learn how to cleanse your energy body, very simply, I've done a, um, a video on my, uh, my uh, website. You can go click the course page and you can get into the, into the um, link and purchase my cleansing video. It's very simple to the point. I've done so many different techniques in the past. So I summarized it to the point that it's simplified you're not using too much of your head okay so you can really get into your body really feel your body really love your body again really allow yourself to feel the presence and feel that beauty that's right here and right now and you'll be surprised just doing these techniques your life will alter you will start noticing differences in your um, in your day-to-day -day living you'll be able, more aware and you will start to recognize what's for you and what's not for you you will also start to eliminate things in your life that's not serving you at all and you will simplify your life as well for highly sensitive people i find it's so much easier if you simplify your life what does it mean simplifying your life? It can be mean in many factors in terms of your, your um, what's in your house, you know, what you accumulate at home, um, more minimalistic lifestyle, and um, anything that helps you to focus your energy and to allow yourself to come to the present moment. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you back on the next video.